Hi everyone, TSW here, and in this video we're going through Drakthan Keep on Heroic Mode. Starting off immediately, we're pulling these two guys. Um, these warriors have a Sunder Armor effect, as you can see above my target frame here. This stacks quite rapidly, and each stack, I think, reduces your armor by 10%. So just be careful, and feel free to take a break from pulling if you need to. I feel confident that I can chain pull, so that's what I end up doing. Um, they do... The, the Sunder Armors do fade once, um, and then towards the end of this hallway, uh, we wait to have them reset, because after this hallway, the mobs kind of hit hard, so it's worth waiting for the Sunder Armor to fade. There's also a caster mob that will drop void zones, black circles that you simply just need to move out, and a cripple debuff. Nothing too scary whatsoever. Just make sure you um, pay attention to the caster, just so that everything can be grouped up, cleaved, and AoE down. The, the 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 issue is you can't you can't pull multiple packs at once because the cast is always going to be in the back casting unless you have a death knight and everything. But then the sun drama gets out of hand, so you do kind of need to pull pull them individually essentially. So you have lots of mobs on the final pack here, lots of sun armor debuffs on me as a consequence. So we wait because I know this next pack. I've died multiple times to this next pack. You don't need to pull the Abomination with the Ghouls, as you'll see I do here, but I'm confident that we'll probably be okay. I let the healer know that this is going to hurt. So again, there are two pathing Abominations which do not need to be pulled with these Ghouls, but I do anyway. Um, the Ghouls have a bleed and also a debuff which reduces your armor. Uh, the Abomination has a breath, so that's why I'm facing him away from the rest of the group. And just try and have some sort of cooldown available because you will be dropping. And yeah, if you have enough gear or your healer is on point, then this is achievable, pulling these packs at once. And then when you have even more... Um, gear you'll be able to finish off with the second pack as well again there's another pathing abomination and a few more ghouls just before the first boss so the first boss is Trollgore. he's a very simple tank and spank fight he's got very few mechanics he basically summons four mobs with like 1k hp each they die instantly they're not very scary but the boss has a consume ability, which means that he will consume these ads, like the corpses. Um, so what he can do is just tank the boss away from the dead ads, which spawn. So from the left hand side, in a second, you'll see some ads. They die very easily and then he'll consume their corpses. And for each corpse, he gains 10% extra damage. So... Oh, that's, it's, it is not scary because he doesn't hit hard at all. So if his damage is increased by 80%, it still doesn't hurt. Um, but if you wanted to, you could drag him away from the corpses and he wouldn't be able to consume them for extra damage. These spiders are much more interesting, IMO. When they're low HP, they will scurry away and um, find some like little spiders that spawn. And the little spiders that they spawn have 80,000 HP each. So what you want to do is mark them and kill them in a sequential order and stun them when they start to scurry off because if they get into the edges of the room, they'll summon 80,000 HP additional spiders, which we're effectively skipping by stunning them and killing them before they can um, summon extra spiders. So I've just tried to pull the second boss preemptively unfortunately on this run we lose our mage because i'm not there tanking it <laughs> so the boss is immune in this pink bubble purple bubble and what you need to do is get these uh, ads these casters killed um and they spawn two from the entrance where we came from and then two from the exit on the opposite side of the room they'll alternate where they spawn from and once four are dead the boss is released also down the staircase in the center of the room there'll be a constant stream of ads that are spawning most of them are non-elite but this this big one is an elite um they don't hit terribly hard but if you're a clothy you don't want to get hit by them definitely so once the four casters are killed 
and we've done that, the boss is unleashed. I pick up any additional ads that are still running around because the boss doesn't need to be tanked. He's just going to cast Frostbolt on random players. He has a blizzard and he also, yeah, he, he does very little. He can summon some skeletons as well. And that's the second boss, very easy. Um, and that's Novos the summoner. Easy boss, um, just it, the ads are easy to deal with. You don't need to worry about them. Uh, just kill the four um, summoned casters and the boss is a free kill. Very straightforward. And then we get, get onto the next pack where we have an elite and a load of little bats. The elite will cast a curse, increasing damage taken by 1000. So all of a sudden with this curse on the tank, these little bats deal significantly more damage because all of their attacks are increased by a thousand. So just be mindful of that. Now I was very happy and confident with our healer in this run. So I pull not only that raptor pack, but also a second raptor pack. Um, unfortunately, I get netted in line, um, out of line of sight, and then the healer's delayed being here for some reason, and I almost die, but luckily I survive. So this is two packs of raptors. They've got a stacking bleed. They have the net, which almost got me killed. Um, but other than that, it's a fairly straightforward um, group of mobs to slay and they go down fairly easily. Um, their like, beast tamer guy, the humanoids, they do have a ranged like, throw attack. So consider them casters sometimes. You know, if you get into melee range, they'll start meleeing you and then they'll stay in melee range. But, you know, when they net you, it could be awkward if they're still at range throwing things at you. So this is the next boss called King Dread. What we do is we kill two ads in his little pen first, wait for him to patrol towards us, and then I range pull him and then drag him away. So we don't pull any other mobs in his pathing area. And I pull him away because he has a, a fear. He also has a bleed. He has um, a debuff which reduces our damage. And he has an additional debuff which increases bleed damage on the tank so a lot of these abilities are done in succession and also they they have casts so when these abilities are going off one after another um use tank cooldowns and healers use your healer cooldowns as well because the tank will be taking a lot of damage um one after another he also has his raptor call so a few raptors joined us um you know a few seconds apart from each other so I, I was just looking through the legs of the uh, the boss to see the ads coming um, or you can just position your camera however you like just so you can see the ads as they come. Just range taunt them and then pick them up. It's quite straightforward. This pack, however, is a bit dangerous because these guys will knock you down. And again, I'm running up ahead of the healer, pulling trash, and I almost die here. I have died on this pack actually before because the knockdown, you can't use your cooldowns. I can't use last stand whilst I'm knocked down. And then if you get chain knocked, you can very easily die. And I very almost did. So we have uh, this Death Knight mob is very annoying. He has a cast fear, but luckily our druid did not path with the fear into the trash that we're skipping on the other side so we're hugging as we're running towards the next boss the right hand side of this hallway to skip the trash on the left hand side so the death knights have a fear that is interruptible so you on this path on this uh, hallway you definitely want to be interrupting it even if you have tremor totem because the tremor won't necessarily tick at a good time to break the fear so you might just wander five yards in two seconds and pull the additional trash and then just before we get to the final boss we have lots of these death knights so there's going to be lots of fears going out aoe stuns or silences are very useful here as well as again the tremor totem when they're going to be consistently lots of fears now the mage dies here and i looked at the death log and they have a roar which i don't know if that's that's not the fear because that's something different um these ads do a roar that hits for like 1.4k and because the mage was stood in melee range of all of them um or within raw range at least he just got roared by all of them so i'm not quite sure how that works or if it's their enrage ability that also has an aoe because they're turning red here as well um but just be careful if you're in melee range of a lot of them you won't always pull all of them at once um there's no need to pull them all at once like i was so the final boss is the prophet 
um, Faranja. So what he does is he'll just be attacking you normally and then he'll have a decay flesh ability which turns you into skeletons and then your whole action bar changes and you have four abilities that you need to use to just survive and then you'll go back to your regular state and that repeats until the boss dies. He has a curse of life which is a life drain, he has a rain of fire and he has a goo on the floor. Move out of the goo, move out of the rain of fire, easy peasy. So now we're skeletons okay so your first ability is a basic attack your second ability is a taunt. Tanks use this. Uh, the third ability is a very small absorb. Tanks use this or anybody just use the absorb. And the fourth ability is a life drain. So if you're low HP, life drain, number four, um, use the absorb, number three. And then if you're a tank, use number two. And everybody just hit number one as a basic melee ability. And that's the instance. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like playlist for the rest of the heroics are on the screen now subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye